thousand year clock is invented by a brilliant man named Danny Hillis. He invented this idea way back in 1984. The idea is it's a symbol of long-term thinking. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It seems like Amazon founder Jeff Bezos is fascinated with both space and time since he's been working on a chiming clock that'll reportedly last for 10,000 years in a remote Texas mountain. From surprising facts to its unexpected origin, here's everything you need to know about Jeff Bezos' 10,000-year clock. But before we get into it, do us a favor by subscribing to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Let's begin! Number 5. What is the clock actually like? Called the Clock of Long Now, the massive, multi-room clock measures 150 meters and is currently being constructed by engineers and contractors inside a mountain on a property in West Texas that's owned by Bezos. The clock has been designed to keep time for 10,000 years and will only tick one per year and chime once per millennium. It will also play melodies only once at random intervals, so it's programmed to play a unique tune each time over the course of 100 centuries. According to the Amazon founder, who's also the richest person on the planet, the clock will be 500 feet tall, all mechanical, powered by day-night thermal cycles, and synchronized at solar noon. Although some far smaller working prototypes have been made, this is the first full-sized version of the clock to be built. One of these prototypes resides in the Science Museum in London and has been active since 1999. Ticks once a day, and dongs once a century, and the cuckoo comes out once a millennium, that sort of thing. And um, it's powered by day-night thermal cycles. Number four. What's the concept behind this clock? Why would anyone build a clock inside a mountain with the hope that it will ring for 10,000 years? The Long Now website asks. Part of the answer, just so people will ask this question and having asked it, prompt themselves to conjure with notions of generations and millennia. If you have a clock ticking for 10,000 years, what kinds of generational scale questions and projects will it suggest? If a clock can keep going for 10 millennia, Shouldn't we make sure our civilization does as well? If the clock keeps going after we are personally long dead, why not attempt other projects that require future generations to finish? In one of his own interviews, Bezos explained the clock as a way to remind people that the far future not only exists, but will happen to their descendants. The symbol is important for a couple of reasons. One, if we think long term, and here I'm thinking, when I say we, I mean we humans. Number three, it wasn't Jeff's idea. There are a lot of surprises in the story of the clock of the long now. Long before Jeff Bezos came into the picture, the clock's idea and design first came to light in 1986 by a computer scientist and MIT professor, Danny Hillis, who also has a reputation for building autonomous dinosaur robots, supercomputers, and Disney theme park rides. Hillis also started the Long Now Foundation back in 1996 to help make his 10,000-year clock a reality but the construction didn't turn into an actual project until 2005. That's when Bezos and Hillis started making serious plans to build a clock on Bezos' property in the Sierra Diablo mountain range. And by 2018, the construction finally started. The news quickly dominated the tech world as Bezos made an official announcement on his Twitter account in February 2018. The hashtag 10,000 year clock is coming together thanks to the genius of Danny Hillis, Xander Rose, and the whole clock team. The tech billionaire wrote alongside a time lapse of the work in progress. Number 2. How much does the clock cost? It seems like the 10,000 year clock is more than just an ambitious project for Jeff Bezos, as he has contributed at least $42 million to the clock's construction. It's a symbol for long term thinking, the Amazon founder said in a tweet. But it still can't be ignored that the enormous price tag doesn't include present and future costs that'll continue escalating until the project's done and dusted. That said, Bezos' colossal $42 million investment shouldn't come as a surprise, since his current net worth has crossed $205 billion. Despite stepping down as Amazon CEO to become the executive chairman of the $1.7 trillion e-commerce giant, his fortune is still eclipsing the wealth amassed by Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates as well as Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. Also, based on the success of Bezos' recent space exploration projects under his rocket company, Blue Origin, there's a high chance the 10,000-year clock will be worth millions. Number 1. When will we see it? 
As much as we'd like to see the final look of this highly anticipated timepiece, no date of completion is mentioned on the project's official site. The site does assure that once the clock's ready, details will be revealed to the public, but getting to that point seems like a challenge too. The nearest airport, according to the site, is several hours away by car, and the rugged foot trail to the clock will take an even bigger commitment as it's located almost 2,000 feet above the valley floor. As of today, there's no knowing when Jeff Bezos' 10,000-year clock will be completed, but we do know that it'll quickly become a subject of worldwide attention once it's ready. It was out every thousand years was his poetical way to describe it. We started pushing that as our kind of maypole right. project around which all the other things we would do would dance. There's this 10,000-year clock we want to build. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.